give you guys a second to join in here before I get to jabber jaw in here. I don't have much time because I won't have a signal here soon. And uh, let me just see here too. We can, there we go. Anyway, all right. So hopefully you guys are starting to log in. We're live here. I want to just quickly, I'm going to try to do this again tonight, but I'll do it to where I have uh, more footage where I can kind of share with you what we're talking about. The sun, uh, a couple of days ago, a friend of mine uh, sent me information that the sun was hit by something. They didn't know what it was, but the sun got struck by something. I did look up, I saw, um, I saw uh, where somebody had posted a video there talking about something hitting the sun, but not, not many people are really talking about it that I'm aware of. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody else has talked about this already. Um, so anyway, I did have a meeting today with uh, one of the people there in the Space Force, or the U.S. Space Force, and I asked about that, and that's why I waited for that meeting, because I wanted to be able to find out what's really going on. And I was told that uh, there was actually a meteorite asteroid type thing uh, hit the sun, not gigantic, but uh, said, but it's not just that. It, it have been several that have hit the sun uh, recently. And they were explaining that there is a annual asteroid belt that we go through anyway. So it's really like nothing uncommon for this. Um, but they said, we do have some unusual meteorites associated with this uh, annual meteorite uh, thing and right now the sun has taken a few hits from that uh, and but the other thing that came up in this discussion too though is we have all the different flooding that is happening and I've been told that a lot of the flooding is being downplayed uh, they're not telling you everything that's going on across the United States uh, and that's going to change from floods to droughts in California by September, from what I understand. Going in September, going in the first year, they're gonna start dealing more with, with fires and, and things like that. But everything that they're claiming or that's being said to me about these weather, unusual weather patterns has to do with um, uh, the sun and the, the, the things that are happening on the sun are affecting our weather very severely here. Um, and this is what's causing all of our unusual weather activity, your, your, your storms. Uh, I know here in Tennessee, where I'm at, eastern Tennessee, you know, we have had a lot of rainfall, uh, massive amounts of rainfall. I mean, I'm just south of uh, Kentucky, uh, where all this devastation took place. In fact, my neighbor works with Army Corps of Engineers, and the mayor of one of the cities there invited him up, and he, you know, he was saying, telling me about the catastrophic loss of life. Well, I shouldn't say catastrophic, but large loss of life. Uh, and whether or not that's fully being reported, I don't know the answer to that, but a very, very, very bad situation. Then of course you had the floods out in uh, uh, Las Vegas. You had them at Death Valley. I've seen photos of cars buried in the mud, things like that. Um, just a lot, a lot of bad things that are happening. And uh, so I wanted to be able to share these things with you guys and just let you know that this is only going to, you know, the weather is going to continue this way up and through September, the storms and things like that. But it is, according to what they're saying to me, it's solar activity that's causing that. Um, I'll get in with issues about Taiwan, what's really happening there with Taiwan. Uh, I know for a long time, the position of the Biden administration was going to be a stand down um, and let uh, China take Taiwan. And today, that message is starting to change because there are a lot of the people in his administration, the attorneys, things like that. Well, not just that. You got deep state people that are there that have been there for ages. They control the military industrial complex, etc. cetera. Uh, they're saying that if we allow China to take Taiwan, it's going to send this country into a Great Depression. And uh, so there is discussion of being willing to get into a battle. Uh, so I'm gonna go more into that. I know a lot of the details behind that. Uh, also the, the Pelosi issue, 
what was being played behind the scenes, which, as I was told, the Chinese are not stupid. They know good and well what Biden was up to and, and his rhetoric that he was saying that he can't control Pelosi and, you know, things like that. But yet she goes there with a huge uh, Navy fleet and he's the commander in chief. Like he doesn't have the ability to control his own fleet. Sure he does. Anyway, I'm going to run out of signal here in a minute. So I'm going to cut off now, guys. I will update you this evening. A lot of things are going on.